Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can select multiple images from gallery and then how you can display that images on the screen in your project. So, in the previous video, I will tell you how you can convert an image into video and how you can add audio to that video. So, in this video, I will show you how you can select multiple images. And this is complete project of photo editor app and video editor app. Also, we make video from images in this project and I think this is part 9 or 10 of this project and if you want code of this video you will check the description box and also if you want to make a project related flutter you can send me email so let's start coding also, please like my channel, subscribe and write comments if you like this video. So, if I show you demo, you will see this is the button and when I click on this button, these two buttons are open and now I click on video maker. So, this button is related to video maker and all we done related to videos okay and this button is related to photo editor and if i show you this then you will see gallery is open and now you will select some image and you will see the image appears here and now these are all frames you can apply on this image and you will see if I click on some frame, the frame is applied on the background of this image. And this option is for filters and you will see we have some filters. And when user click on some filters, you will see the filters are changing. And after that, we click on this save button. So the image is saved inside the gallery. So now we are working on video maker app. So click on this video maker and you will see I create this tab bar and also I create this button. So in the previous video we will create a video from images and also we add audio. Okay, so now in this video, you will see I create a tab bar. I will tell you how you can create this tab bar. And after that, you will see this photo icon. And when I click on this, you will see the gallery is open. And now when I click on this folder, you will see we have these images and we can select multiple images. And I select all these images and after that you have to click on this done button and you will see all these Im images are shown here. And now let's start the code. So first you have to write a library. So you will see I use this library here. Okay. You have to put this library. And after that, you have to click on this pub.get. And after that, I will tell you I create this tab bar. So, first, I will tell you how you will create this tab bar. Uh, Okay, so now this is the code for the tab bar 
and I create a list view and then I create three tabs passing the icon and 0, 1, 2 for some conditional statement. Okay. Okay. So I create this list view horizontal, make the color black, give some height. And after that, you will see I call a function which is tabs implement. So in this function, you will see I make some code. So you will see I pass the icon and show that icon inside this icons. Set the color white and give some size of the icon. And after that, you will see I create on press and inside this on press, you will see I write some conditional statement which is if else. So I write if a is equals to zero which is coming from the tabs implement method. So if the user clicks on this, then we pass zero here. And in that case, e a is equals to zero. So that this function is called which is related to pick image. Okay, now discuss this function. And here is the function which is pick image. And inside this function, first I create a list of result list and get the result which user pick the image from the gallery and all that images are stored inside this result list okay so this is a list we can store a lot of images you will see we give max images length 300 and after that you will see we have action bar title you will you can write so you will see i write the code inside this try catch method so if you have any exception you will print that okay and after that when this method gets all images that images are stored inside this result list and you will see i create an other list and i store this list to this images okay so you have to write this set state method and then put the resultant image to this image list okay so this is the code for picking the image from the gallery and now i will show i will tell you how you can show these images okay so now for showing i use this expanded class so that this whole class will expand automatically if user select more images like 10 20 okay and after that i create this grid view and write this cross axis count 3 so that it it shows three images in one row and after that you will see i pass this images list dot length to get the length of the list and after that i show this images using this acid thumb class and give some height and width okay so now let's run this code and you will see the code is running and now select this image open the gallery you can select any folder you can select any image and you will see this whole class is expanded automatically okay so this is the code for getting images from the gallery and show that images on your app 
I hope you will understand whole code easily. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment and share with your friends. See you soon. Allah Hafiz.